Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Jeffy Limkuler. He's with the University of Kentucky. He's Extension Beef Specialist there. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Joanna. It's great to be here. Well, I'm glad you're here today because I feel like this is an important topic and a lot of times, sometimes it slips our mind, but we really need to be focused on grass technique. We really do and, and grass technique is really just a, a magnesium deficiency and so spring's right around the corner. That grass starts coming up. That's a potential risk for some of our spring calving herds that have lactating cows to see mag magnesium deficiencies or this quote-unquote grass tetany issue. But there's something that we can do about this, right? There is something we can do. We usually recommend that producers would switch to a high magnesium mineral and by high magnesium mineral usually 10% magnesium or higher. A lot of the products will be 10% to 15% depending on the range of intake and a lot of those are around four ounce intake products. So it's an easy switch from our basic cow-calf mineral to this high magnesium mineral about four weeks before we think these cows are gonna go out there and start picking green grass. And then a lot of years we'll see cattle out there starting to nip grass by mid-March for sure. But you know, in a year like this year where we've had some warm weather, uh, things seem to be starting to break dormancy a little bit earlier, we could be that first week in March. And so getting in here the first part of February to the, at least the middle part of February, switching over to the high mag, really does allow the cattle to adapt because that magnesium oxide is a bit bitter. And so they may not want to eat as much and, and it kind of acclimates them to that different mineral product. And it also allows you to get a little bit of magnesium into the body before you start seeing these cattle having calves and, and lactation demand. Um, that's our challenge with when these cows go from a dry cow to a lactating cow, their magnesium needs double. And so we've got this challenge of magnesium need, grass is short in magnesium because of some of the high soil potassium, high nitrogen levels that competes for the absorption of the magnesium by that plant. And so we can get off kelter a little bit there. So simple thing is to switch to high mag mineral can really prevent us a, a big train wreck, if you will. And if somebody's watching and they're saying, oh, I, I haven't been doing that, what would, what would be your tips for them? Yes, you know, sometimes we can get by without it because of our forages and, and, and kind of a fertility in our soils. But there will be one of those years where something happens and you'll, you'll lose a cow to grass tetany or something like that. So quick tip is, you know, think about getting that out, that mineral, that high mag mineral out early. Um, also, don't overlook the potential to see fall grass tetany. We have seen cases of fall or winter tetany, we call it. Uh, particularly on cover crops when we're using maybe some cereal grains on some of these tobacco patches and we want to get out there and graze that off or we're going to be going out into some cover crop areas because cereal grains are really really uh, low in magnesium and they're pulling up that excess nitrogen and potassium that may have been residual from the uh, fertilizer program for that crop and so go ahead and get that out there too on these fall calving cows to prevent that risk. Um, but it's as simple as doing a switch on minerals and then about the time in the spring when we get into mid-May, soil temperatures are up 60 degrees, daytime temperatures are staying warm, we can switch back to our basic cow-calf mineral and that won't be a problem. Okay, so and I think that's great that you brought up, you know, in Kentucky primarily we're a spring calving um, herd mainly, but I think a lot of people have switched to fall and it's just not something that we talk about, but exactly. it certainly can be a problem. And it is, we're seeing more producers switch to fall because of improved conception rates in the fall compared to the summer type of breeding programs. And we just want to raise that kind of awareness that there, there can be the issues of seeing this in the fall and winter. And you mentioned that it, it primarily with that lactating cow. So if somebody's watching and they just have back growing calves or stalker calves, it's not something that they necessarily have to do. That is them. correct. It's not as a big of a risk because again, it's that lactation demand that takes these cows requirements from around 10 to 15 grams a day to 20 to 25 grams a day. So that sudden change in need and shortage in the grass is what gets these cows in problem when they come in and they freshen. We've got a understanding your feed mineral tag. Uh, the Kentucky Beef Book has a really good chapter in there on minerals and nutrition. And so there's plenty of resources. All right, well, certainly appreciate the information. And if you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.